Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So right now I am on my clanmates account, he who shall not be named, and basically I wanted to share something with you guys that I found pretty crazy and kind of interesting I guess, but a lot of you are aware of a Plarium points program that's in the game. Basically if you are a spender, if you are a Kraken Will, you get a lot of points along the way and you get to rack it up and use it towards the Plarium points program where you can then collect a bunch of rewards. Now you can also collect a bunch of Plarium play, well not a bunch, but you can collect Plarium play points along the way by doing playtime rewards every single day and if you are a low spender free to play then it's going to be a very very slow grind to try to get those player points program right all right so what i wanted to share with you guys today is probably 99 percent of you weren't even aware of this i wasn't even aware of it until i checked the fine print when i went to the info tab it is there and available to show you what is to be expected but what's actually in there i guess that was never really showcased right so basically there's another tier of plurium points program guys of rewards so you guys are familiar with the current one if you go into here you'll see 25,000 points to collect your searsha from the sylvan watchers and then another 22,000 points to get artifacts and accessories and then another 25,000 points to get champion souls for searsha and a bunch of other rewards along the way now 77,000 points it's like about $15,000 you gotta spend $15,000 within the game to basically complete the entire first three of the uh the, the player in points program tiers right so once you do complete that you're going to see another set of rewards that appear like this guys so as you can see here my clanmate already collected the fourth milestone of the player in points program which contained a bunch of glyphs six star glyphs it had five six star speed glyphs five six star accuracy glyphs uh, some a, a lot of attack lists and a bunch of other stuff like energy ascension potions it had ores etc so there was a lot of other rewards rewards along the way that you could collect there and for the second one here we have awakening items and basically yeah i mean there's there's more uh soul stone stuff right more soul stones coins and eventually you can collect an eternal soul stone here uh more coins here so yeah that, that's pretty much what's going to be in the fifth of the milestone of the player points program then the sixth milestone is going to be a bunch of like xp bonuses chickens and stuff like that so this is nothing really nothing really special at all and basically the way i like to think of the player points program is is like a passive thing that just happens in the background you pretty much just play the game as is you don't have to really worry about this too much and then along the way if you do end up collecting enough player play points and then you can start redeeming a lot of these rewards along the way now, if you're a low spender free to play or anything like that, then I mean, this is not going to be something that you can look forward to immediately. It's gonna, it's not something you could look forward to uh, like any pretty much like you're not not for a long time anyways. Uh, but if you're a, a big spender, if you're a spender at all. And basically, I just wanted to share this information with you guys because I had no idea of the rewards that were going to be in here. Um, and it does say if you go to the I tab here, it does say um, the program consists of three cards at a time. Each of these cards contains slots. Each slot has a reward, which you get once you have earned a certain number of player and points, similar to rewards earned via campaign stars. First, there are three special cards available, which is going to be these right here, right? With the, the Searsha, the Artifact Accessories, the Champion Souls for Searsha. And then after you finish this entire thing, which is 77,000 points, which is equivalent to about $15,000 worth of points, you're going to be able to see an Artifact Ascension Oils tab, an awakening tabs xp and rank up tabs and this is going to be another about 66,000 points on top of that which is equivalent to about thirteen thousand four hundred dollars and once you have collected enough player points to claim every word from each of the common tiers they will reset and then you'll start to be able to collect points for progress from the same common tier so it's going to be the same tier all over again after you finish out the first oh god the first um like thirty thousand dollars you spend so you're gonna see this over and over again but yeah i just thought this was uh, just something to uh, share with you guys. Again, I, I don't think any, like 99% of us are probably not even going to see this part for like a very, very long time, right? But it's just something to keep in mind that is there available. And if you don't know how to earn player and play points, you have to uh, basically just, you have to spend on the player and play client. And they pretty much are trying to push you away from spending on uh, Google or Apple Pay or whatever, because they want you to spend on the player and play. So you can try to collect these rewards and yeah um, basically as every 50 points is going to be ten dollars worth of packs so once you spend twenty dollars that's going to be 100 player points that's added on and yeah so that's pretty much going to cover for today guys i want to give a shout out to my nameless clanmate who 
uh, allow me to hop on this insane account. One of the craziest accounts I've ever seen, by the way. So at the end of the day, what can you do with this information? I don't know. It's just something I wanted to share with you guys because I found it interesting. And hopefully you guys found it interesting too because I had no idea what was going to be in the the specifics of what was going to be in these extra rewards because like i said if you go here you can see what's available uh, beyond what's going to be the first three cards but it does say these right here and we don't know exactly what's in there but now we do so that is what you can expect if you were to spend uh a ton of money right but uh, if you're not then it doesn't really affect you anyways and it's just something you should just keep in the background as like a passive thing and once you get enough points you can collect whatever that's available so yeah Make sure to drop your comments down below. I am curious on what you guys think of this entire Plarium Points program. Um, Plarium being Plarium, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you guys enjoy my content. And if you do enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next video.